Question. Have you ever wondered how to leverage other people's money to supercharge your wealth building journey? We're about to delve into the financial of Robert Kiyosaki, acclaimed author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. Kiyosaki's approach to building wealth is both intriguing and enlightening, offering a fresh perspective on financial strategy. Imagine the joy of financial freedom, the thrill of not living paycheck to paycheck, the sheer delight of knowing that you've harnessed the power of other people's money, the fear of financial insecurity. That's a thing of the past. So, are you ready to wave goodbye to financial fears and welcome the secrets of harnessing the power of other people's money? Exciting, isn't can you guess how to unlock this potential? Well stick around, today we're going to unlock the key to building wealth like a pro. But, before we dive into the first strategy, let's play a quick game. Can you guess what Robert Kiyosaki's first strategy for leveraging other people's money is? I'll give you a hint, it's something most people are scared of but Kiyosaki sees it as a tool. Got an idea? Great. Take a moment to think about your answer. Now here's a little task for you. Write down your guess on a piece of paper, or if you're tech savvy, type it out on your phone or computer. By the end of this video, we're going to see if you guessed it right. This is not just about guessing the strategy, but also understanding the mindset of a wealth architect like Kiyosaki. So, are you ready for the challenge? Got your guess? Excellent. Keep it handy and let's see if you're right as we uncover the first strategy. Don't worry, there's no penalty for wrong guesses, and you just might learn something new along the way. So, keep watching. Robert Kiyosaki's first strategy for leveraging other people's money is is all about understanding and smartly utilizing debt. Yes, you heard that right. Debt can indeed be a tool to build wealth if used correctly. Here's how it works. Instead of being scared of debt, Kiyosaki encourages us to embrace it, but in a very specific way. He talks about the concept of good debt and bad debt. Bad debt, as you might guess, is debt that takes money out of your pocket. This could be things like credit card debt or a car loan for a vehicle that depreciates over time. On the other hand, good debt puts money into your pocket. This is the type of debt that Kiyosaki encourages us to take on. Examples of good debt could be a mortgage on a rental property that generates income or a business loan for a venture that produces profits. The key here is to use other people's money like a bank's to invest in assets that produce income. The income then pays off the debt, and the cycle continues. This way, you're not just relying on your own money to build wealth. You're leveraging other people's money to make more money. Now here's a little quiz for you. Can you give an example of a situation where you could use good debt to generate income? Think about it for a moment. All right, time's up. Did you think of something like taking out a bank loan to buy a rental property that brings in monthly income? Or perhaps getting a business loan to start a venture that you're confident will be profitable? If you did, you're on the right track. Debt can seem scary, but as Kiyosaki teaches us, it can be a powerful tool in building wealth if used wisely. It's all about understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt, and leveraging good debt to create income-generating assets. Did you get it right? Let's reveal. No need to wonder. Here's a quick rundown of Kiyosaki's second wealth-building tactic. The magic of real estate. By purchasing properties and renting them out, you're essentially using other people's money, namely your tenants, to pay off the mortgage. Once the mortgage is fully paid, you now own a cash-generating asset, all thanks to other people's money. This strategy is a win-win. The tenant gets a place to live, and you get an income-generating asset that appreciates over time. But the real beauty of this strategy lies in its scalability. Once you've got one property under your belt, you can rinse and repeat, building a portfolio of income-producing properties. But, here's the catch. You've got to be savvy about your property purchases. Remember, not all properties are created equal. You want to target those that will attract reliable tenants and offer a good return on investment. Now you might be thinking, but I don't have the money to buy a property? Well, that's where Kiyosaki's genius shines. He advocates for using other people's money, specifically bank loans, to fund property purchases. Yes, you heard that right. Banks and other lending institutions can be your allies on your wealth-building journey. Are you ready for our next quiz question? Here it is. What's one key factor to consider when choosing a property to invest in? Is it A, the color of the house, B, the number of windows, or C, the location? Think it over, we'll reveal the answer in the next segment. And now time for our next quiz question. Hey there, wealth builders! Excited to explore more money-related ideas like personal finance, entrepreneurship, investing, making money online, and much more? You're at the right place! If you're enjoying our content and eager to take on more quiz challenges, 
do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button for Stephis King Entrepreneurship and join our community of budding entrepreneurs and financial wizards, and we've got more good news for you. By clicking that bell icon, you'll get notified every time we release a new video. That means you'll be the first to get all our insights, tips, strategies, and those fun quiz challenges. So don't miss out on the wealth of knowledge we're sharing here. Subscribe and hit the bell now. Now let's dive back into our strategies. Up next, we've got another exciting wealth building strategy from Robert Kiyosaki. Stay tuned. This strategy is a game changer because it's all about using other people's money, not just to invest, but to pay off your debts. Robert Kiyosaki's third wealth building strategy is all about leveraging debt to your advantage. Now you might be thinking, debt, isn't that something to be avoided? Not necessarily. Kiyosaki argues that there's good debt and bad debt. Bad debt is debt that takes money out of your pocket, like credit card debt. Good debt, on the other hand, puts money in your pocket, such as when you take out a loan to invest in a profitable venture. This strategy is about using other people's money to pay off your good debts. For instance, if you invest in a rental property using borrowed money, the rental income can be used to pay off the loan. In this way, you're essentially using other people's money to build your wealth. But of course, this strategy isn't without its risks. It requires careful planning, financial literacy, and due diligence. It's not about recklessly borrowing money but about strategically using debt as a tool to create wealth. Now here's a quiz question for you. Can you name a type of good debt according to Kiyosaki's principles? Is it A. Credit card debt, B. Car loan, C. Mortgage for a rental property, or D. Payday loan? This strategy is powerful but it's not for everyone. It requires a certain level of financial knowledge and risk tolerance. But for those who can master it, it can be a potent tool for wealth creation. Remember, the goal isn't just to make money but to make your money work for you. And one way to do that is by leveraging other people's money to build your wealth. Think you've got it? Drop your answers below. Alright everyone, the moment you've been waiting for is here. Let's first revisit the quiz question from the beginning of the video. The question was, according to Robert Kiyosaki's principles, which of the following is considered good debt? A. Credit card debt. B. Student loans. C. Mortgage for a rental property. And now it's time to reveal the answer. So drum roll please. The correct answer is C. Mortgage for a rental property. Yes, you heard it right. A mortgage for a rental property is considered good debt. Why? Because it has the potential to put money in your pocket. When you use a loan to invest in a rental property, the rental income can cover the mortgage payments, and any excess becomes profit. This way, you're using other people's money to increase your wealth. A huge shout out to those who got it right, you're definitely on the right track towards financial literacy. And for those who didn't, don't worry. We're all here to learn and grow. Keep tuning in, keep learning, and you're sure to get the hang of it in no time. Remember, it's not about getting it right every time, it's about continuous learning, and making progress. Now that we've got that sorted, let's continue with our wealth building strategies. Stay tuned for more. Which of Kiyosaki's strategies resonates with you the most? Share your insights or questions in the comments. Now let's take a moment to reflect on the wealth building wisdom we've gleaned from Robert Kiyosaki today. We've delved into his first strategy of leveraging other people's money, a concept that flipped traditional financial thinking on its head. Kiyosaki's second tactic offered a fresh perspective on wealth creation, challenging us to think outside the box. Finally, his game-changing third strategy showed us that building wealth is not just about making money, but about making smart money moves. These strategies are not just theories, they're practical tools you can incorporate into your financial planning right now. And remember, Kiyosaki's insights aren't one-size-fits-all. It's about finding the strategies that resonate with your personal financial goals and leveraging them to your advantage. So, how well do you think you've grasped Kiyosaki's teachings? Drop your answers in the comments and let's see who's on track to becoming a financial genius. And if you have any questions or need further clarification, don't hesitate to ask. We're all on this wealth-building journey together, and there's no better way to learn than by sharing our insights and experiences. But the learning doesn't stop here. If you want to continue diving into financial mastery and unlocking more wealth-building secrets, make sure you're subscribed to Stephis King Entrepreneurship and have hit the bell to receive notifications for new content. We're all about empowering you on your journey to financial freedom, and we've got plenty more insights and strategies to share. Before we wrap up, show your support by hitting the like button. Your engagement fuels our mission to provide valuable content and empower you on your wealth-building journey. 
Until next time, this is Stephis King Entrepreneurship, guiding you towards prosperity and abundance. Stay tuned. We hope you're ready for more because we're about to dive into a more advanced strategy. This one is a game changer for those who master it. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's about using other people's money to invest in businesses. Now this might seem a bit intimidating at first but bear with us. By becoming a silent partner or investor, you can reap the benefits of a business's success without having to do the day-to-day -day work. Sounds exciting, right? But here's the catch. This strategy requires careful research and due diligence. You don't want to just throw your money at any business. You want to invest in businesses that have a proven track record and a solid business plan. So, do your homework and make informed decisions. Investing in businesses can be a great way to build wealth, especially if you're able to leverage other people's money to do so. But as with all investments, it's important to be smart about it. Remember the goal is not just to make money but to make smart money moves. So are you ready to take your wealth building journey to the next level? Let's do this together. All right, it's time to reveal our final strategy and this one is perhaps the most powerful of all. It's all about using other people's money to create passive income streams. That's right, your money can work for you even while you sleep. So, how does this work you ask? Well this strategy involves using other people's money to invest in income generating assets like stocks, bonds and mutual funds. By investing in these types of assets you can create a steady stream of passive income that can help you build wealth over time. Picture this, you lend your money to a company or government by buying their bonds. In return, they pay you interest over a period of time. Or, you buy shares in a company, becoming a small part owner, and you get a share of their profits in the form of dividends. Sounds great, doesn't it? But remember, investing in the stock market involves risk. It's not a guaranteed way to make money. It's important to do your research and diversify your portfolio to mitigate this risk. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different types of assets and across different industries. Creating passive income streams is a powerful way to build wealth. And the best part? You can do it using other people's money. So why not start exploring these options today? Remember, the journey to wealth is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So, let's keep moving forward, one step at a time.